All right, hi there. Um, today I'm gonna be teaching English using this uh, news article from the BBC. Um, I'm gonna be teaching uh, a little bit of pronunciation, um, key phrases, um, and natural vocabulary found in the text. Um, I'm gonna start reading the article title. West Bank footage throws spotlight on Israel's use of lethal force. We have a critical, we have a, a key phrase here, which is throws spotlight on. This means shows or indicates, right, or puts Israel on evidence. That they were using lethal force right so that's the meaning of that of this particular phrase here throws spotlight on all of it is a phrase um, that you can use in your in your writing then moving on we have israel's this here is a contraction of possession um, for example carlos car carlos Carlos car we use this apostrophe to indicate belonging that this car belongs to Carlos so the um, Israel's use of lethal force so the use of lethal force strictly belongs to Israel moving on to um, the next part of the article Israeli troops had entered the village warning of plans to demolish a Palestinian home. We have um, the grammatical, we have a grammatical structure here. Let me just um, um, like underline it here. We have had enter, which is the past um, perfect had entered how we form the past perfect we use we use had plus the past participle um, the past participle of verbs in this case is a regular verb remember that the regular verbs when we form the past or the past participle we have to add ed to the verb, such as um, planned, right? This is the past participle of the past. She had planned a party, for example. She had planned, planned a party, a party. And something to point out here, when the verb, I'm just going to indicate it over here, when the verb has a vowel, just a vowel, like in this sense, we have to double the last consonant before adding the ed. So we double the final n, we put another n, and then we add ed. And this rule is applicable to um, any adding that we um, that we add, you know, to the verb like for instance plan planning the same thing is true for or when we want to add ing to a verb let's continue to uh yeah here is an example ing of plans to demolish demolish a synonym of demolish can be wreck or completely destroy that's the meaning of of this verb right here destroy destroy completely right or ruin completely or wreck etc footage shows a group of men and teenagers throwing rocks then pulling back as two shots ring out footage let's start with the word footage footage means a video or a film that has not been edited or 
a videotape videotape um er, yes yeah, so the dust that would be a synonym for the word footage shows a group of men and teenagers throwing rocks right stoning somebody or something right throwing stones or stoning the bird that we can also use here is stoning stoning and we do not double the the end because the verb the verb that we are using here is stone which which ends with an e and we just drop the e and we add ing so this is a simple rule of of adding ing or since this is a a regular verb we can also use stoned throwing rocks throwing rocks then pulling back pulling back means uh, like um, retreating like they were scared like they were hiding then a synonym for the for, for the phrase of bar pulling back can be retreating so I'm gonna write it over here that I have a space retreat retreating we can also use retreating as two shots um, um, ring out is another phrase of verb that we have here ring ring out could be reverberate or sound loudly yeah that's that's the word that I can find for this one as like a synonym sound loudly we can use that as well uh, then moving on Riyadh al Nasa runs around a corner and collapses blood seeping into his top fatally wounded here we have the verbs um, runs collapses but pay attention to this construction here sipping into sipping into sipping into means soaking soaking like a synonym we can use this like um, soaking soaking into soaking or entering which is a more like a simple like a more simple verb a structure that we can use here into his stop probably he was wearing a um, a shirt or a t-shirt that that's also a word that we can use here or a synonym for for the word top fatally wounded and just I'm gonna concentrate my attention on the the upper of manner fatally 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 um, we we change uh, or we we build adverbs by adding li especially we add the li this particle to adjectives smartly just an example smart smart smartly or sad sadly so we use this to indicate that something was um, done in a certain way wounded wounded means hurt hurt we can use this as a synonym hurt wounded um, moving on he was killed on Tuesday and just want to highlight uh, this preposition when we use days of the week like Monday Tuesday um, Saturday etc we have to use on all the time that's a rule that we must understand um, especially if if um, if we are you know beginners one of the four Palestinians shot dead shot dead I'm going to shot dead by shot dead by um, a synonym for that this is very descriptive as you can see shot dead they were killed um, um, with a gun right so killed killed by the use of a gun by the use of a gun 
Israeli troops during confrontations in different villages that day in the occupied West Bank. Occupied. Something really cool um, is going on with this war. Sometimes students think that this is a verb in past. Ocu ocu occupied but in this case is a is an adjective it works like an adjective because it's is describing the this place right west bank and all of the verbs especially um, um regular verbs are also adjectives for example the plants water the plants water hmm. sorry I have to add the, the plants water Fine. so it the water here is working as an adjective continuing and now the f that footage is that footage of his killing is throwing a fresh spotlight on throwing a fresh spotlight on is the same thing as um, as the phrase here showcase or indicates but they add the word fresh is even more recent right fresh spotlight on Israel's use of lethal force as violence in the region reaches levels unmatched in years and I really love this word unmatched unmatched this is a constructed word really important for those students that um, really want to increase their vocabulary the root is match match matched unmatched matched and on matched it's something that um, uh, for example if we compare numbers uh, from a previous year this year the numbers are even higher they are unmatched they are uneven right so that's that's basically what this word uh, indicates match is something even leveled unmatched is something that is um, unequal right in the hours after his death the army said soldiers use a live ammunition in response to a suspect spotted hurling Molotov cocktails petrol bombs at them spotted hurling Molotov spotted means um, I'm just gonna spot it Harleen like spot it means seen in this sense can be seen seen Harleen the verb Harleen a synonym for Harleen can be tossing tossing or throwing throwing Molotov cocktails and it's pretty it's pretty interesting how the the writer like uh, put into into brackets an explanation for cocktails because sometimes words are ambiguous if we use the word Molotov cocktails well, especially for beginners of Molotov cocktails what is that but the writer explained or give an extra explanation or description of what cocktails uh, meant in this context moving on but video evidence and eyewitnesses suggest this wasn't the case when he was struck. He, when he was struck, he was struck. This is the passive voice over here. Was the verb be and the past participle of of the verb strike. He was uh, beaten, hit, etc. Um, this year in the West Bank, more done. Um, 140 Palestinians have been killed have been killed nearly nearly 
great one here a synonym for nearly which is an adverb I just explained adverb of of manner uh, so almost it could be almost it could be an adverb of free, free, almost yeah that could be a synonym for for nearly all by Israeli forces the dead include civilians and armed militants here armed is not a verb but an adjective militants militants as synonyms for militant can be uh, writers fighters etc meanwhile a series of palestinians attacks targeting israelis as well as militant gunfire at troops Gunfire is a verb. Gunfire can be shoot, shooting at, shoot at somebody, or it's a synonym that I can use for the word gunfire. Um, uh, let me see if I can find something else to explain here. Meanwhile, yeah, look at the use of the connectors. Meanwhile, uh, uh, meanwhile, a series of Palestinian attacks targeting Israelis as well as militant gunfire. Something happens at the same time. Meanwhile, something was happening uh, um, in place B. The same thing was happening in place A. So this is basically the meaning of, of meanwhile, something or a series of of events happening in this at the same time. Um, there are people including civilians and troops. The United Nations envoy, 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 envoy is a um, is a representative. That is a name. A representative is is a person that is less than an ambassador is a representative of United Nations. It could be written over here, representative of the United States of the region. Don Wenesland warned this week that the conflict and conflict and military occupation was again reaching a boiling point. Just want to highlight something here. When the O is stressed like conflict and occupation it is pronounced like a ah, occupation conflict again um, a great phrase here again reaching a boiling point boiling point things um, like a dangerous um, situation may happen that's basically um, reaching or coming to a dangerous uh, or something dangerous may happen right campaigners from the Israeli human rights group Bethlehem are currently currently I'm gonna explain the, the the construction of the word current current is something actual something that is happening yeah, as an event that is going on currently is an upper of manner currently presently could be a synonym. Proven, Mr. Nassan's death. Proven, proven, proven. Could be um, investigating. Could be a synonym for the word proven. For the word proven. Saying that a significant number of cases of protesters um, being shot dead this year amount to excessive use of force. The Israel's, uh, Israel Defense Forces said it had acted to stop, acted to stop here, it has acted to stop, it has worked, it has worked to stop violent rioters and the incident was being examined, the incident was being examined um, this is another grammatical structure here which is the passive voice the passive voice is used a lot in um, um, 
journalism and articles a lot a lot a lot so it's a construction that um, students must or anybody must master again troops entered the village of uh, Mog Gayer on Tuesday to serve demolition orders against illegal construction. This happens when Israeli authorities plan to bulldoze Palestinian homes, to destroy bulldozed Palestinian homes. Bulldoze means destroy, means um, destroy completely, wreck, or take home down, etc. without permits without permits, even though these are often impossible to obtain. Uh, Mr. Nassans, 21, was shot dead after a group of around 20 young men and teenagers gathered, gathered and threw stones towards the deep and soldiers. Soldiers gathered, they grouped, gathered, and it's another synonym for gathered means meet or uh, or the past is met and a grouped clustered etc those rules can be synonyms for this word under international law the use of firearms by security forces against civilians is defined as a measure of last resort and can only take place to stop an imminent threat of death and serious injury. Video given to the BBC filmed for nearly, in this case, nearly means almost a minute before the shooting shows the group. Look, even the event happened in the past the writer is using the simple present to make it to make this particular um, situation more vividly right as we can see the the writer you have used the 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 the, the past perfect the present perfect the passive voice but it's also using the simple present to talk or to write about actions that are critical in the article so we can you know imitate this when we write the group including appearing uh, mr Nas mr nasan appearing to pick up stones from the street and throw them towards troops who are not visible in the f footage none can be seen throwing petrol bombs. Mr. Nassan then stands in front of his family home apparently holding stones when two gunshots can be heard. The second is thought to be the shot which left him fatally wounded. Paramedic Abu Alija rushed to treat him at the scene rushed rushed run fast could be run fast um hurried etc hurried up to treat him or to help him to help him no one threw a molotov cocktail i was here when i picked him up he was screaming i will die i will die he said mr Nasang's mother again we have the apostrophe and the S to indicate belonging. Um, Laura Laura's mother or Catherine's father. Fatma described how she ran after him moments later, desperately trying to help. The troops are the ones who attacked us. They came towards the house in the confrontation and the young people participated. She told the BBC shortly after his son's funeral. 
shortly after this is another um, another adverbial construction shortly after shortly after his son's formula my teacher um, for example let me let me give you an example of this um, um, his mother his mother died shortly after shortly after the soldiers arrived the so soldiers arrived right so this is an example of this and I think this is the end of the video um, I think um, it is really important to read um, articles, especially newspaper from the news, because the phrases that they use and the language that they use is advanced, and the phrases are um, really, really useful if 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 you want to improve uh, your reading and your speaking or your writing, even pronunciation. So they are a really nice uh, um, resource that we have to improve English. So this is it for now. Thank you so much and see you on the next video.